Okay, what's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's Space Crypto coming at you again one more time. About to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, remember to share, remember to subscribe, also turn on notifications. Check out my social media links in the description, also at the bottom of this video. So, really quickly, I want to talk to you guys about Polypad. Now, there has been a lot of FUD on Polypad recently, uh, major FUD, and we've been hearing so many different things, obviously, right now. Uh, Coin Market Cap does have kind of a social media integration. Uh, recently, now people can actually post on different tokens and basically tell what they think about the token. Um, obviously, a lot of people are putting up some different comments right here, and people have been liking, commenting, uh, replying to comments, stuff like that. And it's pretty interesting what people have to say about Polypad. Obviously, I agree. I agree with some things. Some things I disagree. But I'm going to kind of break down everything and give you guys my, my thoughts. Obviously, Polypad's been out for about maybe a couple weeks now, maybe two to three weeks. I think we're in the third week of the launch. Obviously, uh, we did have that whole uh, Tron pack, KCC pad swap where you had, in order for you to get Polypad, you had to swap your KCC pad, Tron pad. I do have a video on that that explains how that works. So uh, I'm going to leave that in the description so you guys can check that out and swap your Tron pad tokens. But obviously, if you have Tron pad, KCC pad tokens, there's a point of holding them right now because in order for you to participate in the IDOs, you're going to have to swap those tokens to Polypad, right? Um, because uh, Bluezilla is no longer supporting TronPad and KCC Pad. Uh, more explanation is um, in my video. But essentially, uh, obviously, they have a tier system. Now, this, is, this was initially the major area of complaint for a lot of people was the tiered system. Obviously, you had... Uh, a lot of people just didn't like the fact that there was no guaranteed allocation for for you, even if you already had guaranteed allocation in Tron Pad or KCC Pad, which was really unfair. And I definitely 100% agree with that. If you had guaranteed allocation, whatever, however much tokens you had in KCC Pad, Tron Pad, and you, if you had guaranteed allocation in those projects, you should come over here and have guaranteed allocation. That was not granted uh, initially, and they did fix that. So they fixed the tiered system now. So guaranteed allocation is here for everybody except for COPPA, which is uh, 35,000 staking requirement, and you get one lottery tickets. So guaranteed allocation is now for every, every tier from IOTA going straight up to Gamma, right? And obviously... The obviously based on the price of the token, that's that's how you're gonna figure out how much each tier is actually worth. So, for example, IOTA, if you look at the price of Polypad right now, it's trading at twenty, uh, well, two cents, right? So if you if you multiply that, right, uh, it's about seven hundred dollars. It's about seven hundred. No, actually, not my bad. It's about fourteen hundred dollars to get into the IOTA tier. Right, and then it's about double that to get into, so about three thousand dollars to get into theta, and so on and so forth. So, obviously, the tiers are pretty expensive, but compared to BSC pad, I mean, even the highest tier gamma, I mean, you multiply this uh, by the polypad price right now, as we currently speak, and it's just ten thousand dollars to get into gamma. Now, that is cheaper then if i'm not mistaken that is cheaper than even kcc pad uh what it was going for and and tron pad as well and bsc pad i mean i mean if you look at the price of bsc pad i'm not even going to go through that whole thing but if i'm not mistaken the last time i checked the highest tier on bsc pad is near like fifty thousand dollars right so in my opinion these are some good prices to get into this tier, especially at these low prices right now for Polypad. So a lot of, and you know, so I'm, I'm going to address a few of the things that I've seen. Now, 
people are saying I saw this person posted that there's evidence that the Blue Zilla team is Turkish. If they're Turkish, don't trust they. They scam you. We know the name behind most projects in the crypto world because they introduced themselves. But no one who no one knows who Blue Zilla team is. Okay. Okay, so the Blue Zilla team, I mean, we do know who the Blue Zilla team is. If you if you go on their website, um, you can actually look them up and you can get more information about them. Uh, but they they do. I mean, and I and I can't I can't go through the whole thing right now, but they they are. I mean, they're a real company, guys. Blue Zilla Labs, they're a real company. So this idea that they you don't know who they are and stuff like that, you can find out who they are. Uh, now that whole thing about them being Turkish, I'm not sure. I can't say whether or not they are but i mean i wouldn't link them to being turkish as them being scammers because scammers can come from anywhere scammers can come from america and i think you have to i think you have to judge people a lot of times in crypto because this, this is what we do all the time anyways we have to judge people on track record and as far as i've seen bluezilla I mean, with the launch of BSC Pad, now let's check out the price of BSC Pad and see what BSC Pad is. BSC Pad right now is 41 cents, right? 41 cents. And let me actually, I'm not keeping it. Website. And if you look at the success of BSC Pad, it's crazy. Obviously, you can see their diamond tier. I mean, yeah, the diamond tier is expensive, man. Like, if you multiply 75 times 41 cents, I mean, you're talking about literally, I mean, you're talking about right now, you could easily say that this is about $30,000 just for the blue diamond tier. Still cheaper than uh, what it was because last time I checked, it was like 50000 So It's still cheaper, but, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, but... If you look at their track record now, look look at all these projects. Look at all these projects. I mean, there's a lot of people that work with Bluezilla. And it's not just Turkish companies. It's not just, you know, it's not just any just any single group of companies that work. These are different people from different places all around the world. You have American projects. You have European projects. You have people that are just coming up with different innovations within the crypto space i mean if you look at a lot of the projects and a lot of people that work with bluezilla and the fact that these some of these projects are evolving and really starting to really make people money obviously you've seen some of the some of the games that are being launched uh, some of the platforms uh some of the uh the fan platforms and stuff like that obviously like happy fans and stuff so there are a lot of good projects being released on these different bluezilla platforms that lend itself credibility to the platform and a lot of times in crypto we we judge people by their history right we judge we, the reason why we believe that pulse chain the pulse chain is going to be a success it was because of the history of hex and what hex did right so we have to keep the same energy when we are looking at other platforms, we're gonna if we're gonna use that as a benchmark for determining whether or not something is legit or it's a scam, right? And which is their history, then we have to also apply the same thing to other other projects as well. And the fact of the matter is, Bluezilla has a great history. They've launched over a hundred um, over a hundred projects on BSC Pad alone. Not to mention all the other launch pads that they have. They have Pad. I mean, I don't even know how they probably have like 20 launch pads by now. I mean, they have launch pads on so many different blockchains, right? But if you're supposed to look at like all the different launch pads and all the different projects that they've launched, it could easily be well over 200 projects, right? And these projects are doing some of them are doing well, some of them didn't do so well. Obviously, some of them failed, some of them 
you know, still still struggling, but you have projects that are really starting to uh, starting to pro- progress, you know, after the launch. So that's pretty, you know, that's pretty good. And obviously, anybody can launch a project on on on, on Bluezilla. And the thing is, my thing is like this, right? We are in a space where there's a whole bunch of scamming going on. We don't. It's it's damn near impossible to determine what's legit from what's not, right? And if anything, I would say that you're safer with investing into stuff at the ground floor using these launch pads, mainly because of the fact that you kind of have that middleman service going on where they vet these projects, they make sure these projects are legit, and you you kind of have that safety net of the history of Bluezilla and what they've done in the past to, to kind of protect you from potential scams and stuff like that. So personally, for me, I would rather uh, I would rather um, invest into projects that are launched on a launch pad like a, a poly pad or whatever it is, than to just outright just put my money in, uh, into something that I'm not sure if it's going to rug or not. Um, now, have we seen projects not do well on these launch pads? Yeah, sure. I mean, it, it happens. It happens. But just understand that this is not quick money. And investment is long term. A lot of times you may you may put money into something and you feel like it's going to just pop off right away. No, that's not really what happens a lot of times. You know, sometimes you just got to be patient and just wait it out. You know, um, and that's and that's what we got to do. You know, a lot of people just got to wait it out. Um, if you, and, you know, but I think part of the negativity surrounding Polypad is uh, is the price. Obviously, the price has gone down. It was at about 50 cents when it started out. It dropped significantly. Uh, and a lot of people, I think a lot of people just didn't like the fact that you had to swap your KCC pad, Tron pad tokens to get Polypad. I think a lot of people still believed in KCC pad, Tron pad, because a lot of people believe in the KCC and Tron blockchain. Uh, however, we have seen where KCC has been a stagnant blockchain and has not developed, has not lived up to expectations. We've seen that. KCC has not lived up to expectations. Now, the good thing about KCC is that it does hold its value. Even in the bear market, it still hovers around uh, $17 to $20, you know, which is good because... I mean, it can be it. I've I've, been, I've seen it as kind of a hedge against the market to some degree, um, but in terms of it actually really going nuts like how Binance did, I mean, it has not proven that it, it is way not living up to expectations, way below it, performing way below expectations because it has the same potential that Binance has. And there's no reason why it should not be doing the same numbers that Binance did. But KCC, they are doing a few things as well. Um, they have some. They they are uh starting to push that side. Um, the 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 blockchain side of things. So the EVM side of things. So we'll see what happens with that going forward. But I mean, this is just my opinion, man. Um, I think. You know, people just got to be patient. You just got to be patient and just wait it out. I think that ultimately we will start seeing Polypad, you know, the, the major thing that Polypad did, which I really appreciate them doing, was changing um, how the tier, the tiers work and the guarantees and making sure more people were able to have guaranteed allocation. Now, now that that's the case, I think going forward, um, we're gonna see a lot of uh, we're gonna see a lot of things that's gonna be launched on Polypad. This is Polygon's very very uh, very very exciting blockchain. A lot of development going on. You know, um, obviously we did see the delay of Dotpad. Um, now they did delay that um, indefinitely. I'm not sure when they're gonna release that. I think part of it is just you know the negativity surrounding the, the platform, the Polypad platform, and People not really believing in it and, you know, 
obviously there's a lot of flood information, flood news going on. Obviously, we saw the last two IDOs didn't do great. So I think now they they have kind of scaled back a little bit. I don't think they're going to put out anything until they kind of, um, you know, until they kind of build back the reputation of Polypad. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. That That's a little bit surprising, though. I, I was looking forward to DotPad. I did find out yesterday. I mean, they announced it like a week ago, but I did find out yesterday that DotPad is actually not going to be released. But anyways, have a great day. I got to go real quick now. Uh, but anyways, have a great day. Page Crypto signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos in the future. Leave a like. Share this video. Have a great day. Page Crypto signing out.